The heat outside means a lot of people will be looking for a place to cool off, maybe a vacation at the pool. Well, for four decades, the Alabama State Park has provided families with a lot of fun summertime memories. However, not this year. A repeat of last year with the state park pool gates to stay closed again. Katie Abs Mariah Williams talking to the park about the hot topic that is making an unpleasant splash. Where you would normally hear the chatter of children and splash of cannonballs, now will be met with silence this summer season. We, we are sad that the swimming pool will not be opening for, um, for uh, the 90th this year. That's something that uh, is, you know, of course, nostalgic. Abilene State Park Historic Pool still standing after 40 years. It's a generational rite of passage. We've heard stories of, you know, oh, my grandmother brought my mom out here to swim. It means a lot to people's childhood. We want that to continue. Assistant Superintendent Candace Johnson says even though it is a staple for many families, it is time to take a break and renovate. These repairs are going to redo this, the concrete gutters. Um, they're going to fix a joint inside the swimming pool and they're going to fix the stone wall um, over by, by the, the baby pool that's starting to crack and kind of fall over. By taking the time to fix things like this crack in the wall near the pool, they are also looking towards the future in the next 10 years to make a splash for their 100th anniversary. Definitely uh, getting the pool back open. Some of our other uh, our CCC structures also need some uh, some TLC. The park will look, the, the area around the swimming pool will look a little bit different, a little bit more uh, red. Preserving the past while looking towards the future. Reporting in Abilene State Park, what coverage you can count on, I'm Mariah Williams, KTAB News. Thank you, Mariah. The park will be celebrating its 90th anniversary this year on June 1st, and there are still plenty of activities you can enjoy at the park this summer. And I took my first jump off of a high dive at the Abilene State Park a few decades ago.